Hello, I'm Airsoft Mike, and guess what's back? Airsoft on a budget. Yeah. <laughs> So here we go, another episode of Airsoft on a budget. And for the first time, it's a double unboxing. And first off, we're gonna kick off with the STF-12 short version. And what I love about these, even though they are budget Airsoft guns, they're all officially licensed. They have all the real steel trades, officially. And I think that's fantastic. So. We're gonna kick off with a short version. First of all, can I just say, B.O. <laughs> I just find that funny. But anyway, it actually means black ops, not body odor. Right, so, and Fabarm being the real manufacturers of the real shotguns. And they gave their blessing to B.O. manufacturer to produce these airsoft shotguns, although they are OEM'd by VFC. So, taking a quick look around the box, it may not look anything spectacular. Depicts the two versions right here in terms of the color. However, did you know the real version comes in exactly the same box? I mean, all of this. I mean, it won't obviously have that on there or this. <laughs> Okay, first thing I'm greeted with is your instruction manual or owner's manual. And there's your three variants of the shotgun. Let's have a quick look inside. Yep, yeah, very basic, but tells you everything you need to know. Hold on. I've just noticed something, not a scrap of English. But like most of these airsoft manuals, it really doesn't matter. You just follow the diagrams or the images and we're all good. Plus I'm so used to these sort of shotguns anyway. I'm sure there's nothing new on here that I don't already know. So I decided to do something a little different this time. Normally my default color for guns is black, but not today. Look at that, looks really nice. Right, so it's all sealed, it's not been opened by the retailer or anything, and you can see exactly what you get straight away. So I'll just tell you before I even take it out. A free bag of BBs, a couple of shells, a front and rear sight, they look pretty cool. Oh look, and this must be my 260 mm, something speed loader now. <laughs> and the piece itself, the shotgun. Let's get it open. Uh, that didn't work. <laughs> Try that again. Let's get it open. What's wrong with... This plastic is like flipping metal. Hold on. Let's get it open. Good grit. I'm gonna have to use a knife. And there she is. Let's take a quick look at the shells first. So you get two. One red one, and I believe each shell will hold, yeah, it says it on there, each shell holds 30 rounds, so you get three times 10 shots, or I prefer to say you get 10 times three shots, because each fire, each pull of the trigger, will fire out three BBs. And, of course, you get this black one, and you already know how much I love that combination of black and gold. <laughs> gorgeous you also get front and rear sights and they're i would say fiber optic style sights okay so that's pretty cool and they actually look as if they are adjustable i'm not too sure but we'll uh, we'll check that out in a moment oh hey this is voiceover mike i'll save on screen mike the bother i'll show you this photo and confirm right now the rear sight is adjustable for elevation and elevation only but to be honest, how important are adjustable sights on a shotgun? Not that very important, I don't think. But anyway, oh, this looks gorgeous. Loving the finish on the pump section right here and, and the grip. Oh, we'll get into that in a moment because, yep. 
you've got a cleaning and unjamming rod. Absolutely loving how they have finished the grip on this and the fore end. I mean, the fact that this is a budget shotgun, they really did a good job on how these parts have been finished. But what about the rest of this shotgun? Well, we'll go through all of this in a moment. Let's just get this other one open right now and have it sitting pretty in the background. Do you know what? Even though these are budget airsoft shotguns, boy, do they look good. So let me take you through the features and the build quality. And again, let me just start right at the back, right here. I can't keep going on about how gorgeous they have finished this grip. It doesn't look cheaply made at all. The grip section anyway, and the fore end, but we'll get back to that. And then when you look on the base, there you have the Black Ops logo. The attention to detail on this is amazing. So yeah, there's your grip, very nice. Let's just have a hold of it. Yeah, feels good. Obviously when it's like this in this configuration and when you're not holding the front, even though it is a fairly light shotgun, it's got some weight to it and you really do feel it if you hold it like this. But of course, once you got it there, still a little weight, not that heavy at all compared to some of my other airsoft shotguns but it still packs a little weight so it doesn't even feel that cheap either then we move to the rear sling point your trigger your trigger guard and your safety button and look at what it looks like on the other side it's got that nice sort of triangle shape to it but hey let's get back to the other side where you've got your real steel trades there you go your fabalm professional then above that, it says quick release rail system. However, although that may be the case on the real version, there is a more expensive airsoft version of this, which is not airsoft on a budget, that takes gas or CO2. That also has a true quick release rail system. But on this budget one, it's a dummy version. So on the real one and the more expensive airsoft version, this you actually loosen which will then enable you to raise the entire rail up and swing it to the side and then take it off completely. But not on the budget one. On the budget one, you would have to unscrew all of these screws. So yes, you can still remove the rail if you wish. Now, as we're talking about the rail, let's stick to the top and have a look at these very cool looking sights. Look how bright them bad boys are. <laughs> For something so budget, pretty decent. And then look all the way down there to the front one, which is red. That also looks awesome. Look at that front sight right there. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. You've got more text on the side of the shotgun. Moving along, we get to this awesome looking fore end. It's that same beautiful rubberized texture that just looks so perfect, including the grip. There's nothing cheap looking regarding the fore end and the grip. I will get back to the body in a moment. But as we continue along, on that fore end, you have a lower rail. Now I know there is a temptation to put a foregrip there, but I wouldn't. If you can, swap that out for a metal one and then put a foregrip on it. Because again, this rail, that rail, unfortunately, plastic. So as we reach the front portion of this shotgun, You've got this rather large, aggressive, what looks like a door breacher on the front. Uh, uh I wouldn't bother. <laughs> Not even in gameplay. This is all plastic. Again, if they just made it metal. But anyway, plastic. Talking about plastic and metal, 
everything on this bad boy is pretty much plastic or this beautiful rubberized uh, finish on the fore end and the grip. Even your sling points, and there's your front one, are plastic. However, your outer barrel and your magazine tube in the real world, <laughs> this is metal. And the reason why I say in the real world, and to be fair, in a lot of airsoft versions too, when you put your cartridges in, they go down your magazine tube, which is basically this section here that goes all the way down. On this one, no. That takes me nicely to the bottom of this shotgun where you have your loading port or loading gate, where you would put just one cartridge in, but that one cartridge, as I mentioned before, will give you 30 shots. But remember, that's three BBs per trigger pull. Now, as we move to the other side of this shotgun, you have more real steel trades, a serial number, and right here, your release for your loading port. Okay, so let's get to this safety button right there. So as you can see, it's protruding more on this side, which means your shotgun is on safe. Trigger won't go anywhere. Push that in and on the other side, you will see there's a red indicator. Your shotgun is now ready to be fired. Now there's nothing in here, so it's completely safe. Now you can move the trigger. So what about the overall construction? How solid is this thing? The grip, solid. The rail system, that's all solid. The fore end, there's a little play in that, but I would expect that because it is a pump action shotgun. Yet there's some play in the front sling point and not as much in the rear one. Okay, so let's get these shells ready. So I should be able to put 30 in each. Start with the uh, red one with the supplied speed loader. So I might as well get these two ready for the longer shotgun. Now you can sit your cartridge on the door like this and then close it or just shove the cartridge straight in which is totally different to this type of shotgun where it has a lovely long magazine tube. Oh, by the way, did I also say I absolutely love the color combination of black and silver? Oh my gosh. But anyway, this sort of Remington style shotgun, loads of cartridges up there, down your long magazine tube, and you can even put a cartridge straight in there. But hey, this is another brand new shotgun for a new video I'm going to be doing on another day. Right, let's get a cartridge in the long one. Absolutely loving this long one as well. And I'm probably going to end up getting the CO2 version of this as well. These look so awesome. So the first thing I want to do, apart from putting some iPro on, <laughs> is to make sure these shotguns work. So they're both ready and let's see how difficult or easy it is to do the pump action because sometimes especially with like I have a double eagle one you have to have the strength of Hercules to pump it. So let's see what this one's like. Okay it's not too bad it is a Good old pump though, you've really got to put some meat into it. But yeah, not too bad. Bit strong, but not too bad. Let's just make sure it works by just shooting above there. Oh, that works. Let's just quickly test this one. Oh. That works. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aim for the red one first and then the green one. And then I'll put a target up and see what results we get. And I'll use the short one first. And just in case you're wondering, no. Ivik or Ivike or Ivik, whatever you wanna say, did not sponsor this video. 
I just sometimes shop there. Online. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Good grief, that's way off. Let me try again. That's a bit better. Ah, now there it is. I just needed to adjust that rear sight and my results are getting better. Right, I wonder how quickly I can work the pump action and pull the trigger. Yeah, right, okay, done. <laughs> Right, let me try the short version. And for some reason, the short version is a lot stiffer. It's harder to work the pump action, but here we go. Now I'm gonna do a chrono reading, but please take what you see on screen with a pinch of salt and don't be too shocked. <laughs> now, I did warn you. <laughs> It's never an easy thing chronoing a shotgun that shoots out multiple BBs. I mean, it's only three, but it's still multiple BBs. So don't take that as gospel because look at what happens when I fire it again. Okay, four, three, five. And then when I tested it again a little later on that day, so I can only assume brand new shotgun, brand new spring, it needs to settle down a little bit as it is doing here now. It should settle down to around the 300 plus, but right now at 377, still a little too hot for most gameplay arenas. So what are my initial thoughts on these shotgun beauties? They are worth every single penny. They are budget, but they look amazing possibly a bit too much plastic for my liking, but they still feel amazing and look amazing, especially at this price point. In America, you can pick these up for around $60. In the UK, about 60 pounds, 65 pounds. In euros, similar prices. If you like this, check the video description. There'll be a list of all the retailers that I know of that stock this. Thanks for watching. Oh, but hold on. I've got to do a quick giveaway. Do you remember a couple of videos ago or so, I said I was gonna give away that all new Bluetooth chrono machine. I've decided to have it only available to my true watchers and followers of my channel. There are people out there that only watch the giveaway videos because they want something. I'd rather give this away to true followers and watchers, which is why I'm gonna drop the giveaway right here randomly at the end of this video. So if you'd like to win that chrono machine, go back to that review I did of that chrono machine and in that comment section on that video, not this one, type your username, that's your YouTube name, followed by why you would like that chrono machine and I will choose a winner next week. And don't forget, when I hit 300,000 subs, I'll be doing another massive Airsoft giveaway. Thanks for watching and catch me next time on the Airsoft Mike YouTube channel. Just in case you thought it was all play and no work. Wrong.